All right, guys, welcome back. Western Sharpies RC. Glad you could join me for another little video here. Really excited to share with you guys what I've been working on. Uh, created a new accessory here uh, from this IBC tote. So um, taking a little break from the uh, trailers here. Also, I uh, just want to mention I'm doing a voiceover on this one. So I apologize if the audio doesn't line up with me fiddling around with things just because when I went back to watch it, I realized I recorded it with the heater on. I could barely hear myself. So anyway, I think I'm just talking about some of the details of the tote here. You can see some of the little doodads, the corner guards, the lid and the spout and, and how I, I make this thing. So I'm I've been working on this thing for a customer of mine and uh, kind of had a bit of a eureka moment when I thought, well, maybe I can make another accessory by just uh, using the cage portion uh, of this uh, tote. So here you can see I'm talking about the, uh, the cage part. Um, so yeah, I use upright uh, styrene rods or styrene rods for the uprights and then I 3D printed those loops and then layer by layer I tack it all together to make the cage part and I build it on top of the tote so uh, when I pulled it apart I thought to myself hey maybe this could be a cool little cage pallet that you you know you always see in, in warehouses and, and factories and stuff like that so so I thought I would just uh, use the cage part plop it on top of a base and then CA glue it down there and then paint the whole thing silver and make a, a cool little cage pallet so that's the plan, guys. Um, I'm going to get rid of that spout thing. I'm going to redesign this base. And then, like I said, I'll CA glue it to the, to the pallet. I'll, I'll spray it all uh, silver, and then that'll, that'll look like a cool little uh, cage pallet. So anyway, I don't know what the heck I'm talking about right now, but um, I do have included after this part uh, a little slideshow of me going out to the, uh, to the back 40 and collecting some firewood with, uh, with the old Ford and, and Doc Brown. So... Um, Stay tuned for that. That'll segue into, into that any second here. And then uh, just a few more details about this thing at the end part of this video. And also, guys, I'll mention now, uh, if you haven't already been to my Facebook page, because I am going to offer these for sale on there, uh, check it out. The link's down below. If you have any questions, you can message me there. A little bit more info and all that, prices and, and dimensions and details will be there as well. So I think that's what I'm talking about right now, just some of the dimensions of this thing. Uh, 14 scale is kind of what I make them in usually seven and a half by yeah seven and a half by nine and a half makes for like a 40 by 48 uh, pallet so anyway guys uh, stay tuned for the little uh, slideshow here Alright guys, all finished up. Turned out really good, um, as you can tell from the uh, little production line in the back there. I think I'm going to go ahead and make a whole bunch of these uh, little buggers. Uh, I want to make enough to make a, a full load on my flatbed trailer. And then I'll go ahead and post some pics on my uh, Facebook page and make an album. And then uh, get some prices out there. I don't think, like I was saying earlier, I'm going to offer them in different colors and, and uh, have the customer, I guess, glue them themselves. I just might complicate things so I think this uh, silver color here is the most popular and probably the, the nicest looking so um, that's the way they're going to come I'm not too sure if I'm going to go with uh, just a plain Jane kind of cage like that or maybe add a little plate on the front here because you do kind of see some of them with little plates and stuff like that so anyway that's a small decision um, but you can tell it I think it turned out really good and they're actually a, a little stronger than I thought I mean this is got some good weight to it so um, obviously you can't go for a, a tumble off the side of a truck or off the side of a cliff it'd probably uh, 
bust in a few spots, but as you can see here by the way I'm handling it, it uh, you know, it can take a good, a good little um, moving around, I don't know. But yeah, for the most part, I'd say just take, take it easy with this thing. But anyway, guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, that's pretty much it. You saw some of the parts that I used, styrene rod. Um, I mean, these here I designed and printed myself. And it's a little bit of a, a little bit of a pain in the ass getting them all in there layer by layer. I got a little technique that I use. Um, and a lot of little tack welds and all that stuff with the uh, CA glue. But anyway, just gives you guys some ideas. Anyway, if you want to maybe make something like that yourself or visit my page, guys. I'll put a link down below where you can uh, pick one of these buggers up. So thanks for watching and uh, see you in the next one.